<laughs> All right, here we go. So, here we are at this lovely menu screen again, and part seven decided not to record, and the ending of part seven was me dying. So, to emphasize how very annoyed I am at this current situation, I'm actually going to play my least favorite character in this entire game for this next part of the playthrough. Also going to try and attempt not to murder him horribly, even though it's pretty tempting to go, oh, well, I think I'll actually make it winter forever, just because I really don't like him. <sighs> but I'm not going to do that. Anyway, you get to watch me do days one through five again. Yay. And if you don't want to watch me do day th 1 through 5 again, uh, feel free to skip this video. There will probably be up another one up tomorrow of what's happening. And, uh, yeah. But this is kind of where you'd be getting your explanation, so you kind of technically have to watch this one anyway. So, here we are in the wonderful world of Don't Starve. Don't you just love it? Can't you feel how magnificent everything is? The feeling in the air. The birds are chirping, the butterflies are butterflying, the grass is asking to be ripped to shreds and put in my pocket. The sticks are asking to be snapped in half and thrown onto the ground. Ah, music in the air. It's just a lovely feeling. Oh, it's magical. Absolutely magical. You know, maybe if I'm really lucky, I'll have spawned into another um, biome, I guess you'd call it, that has a door in it like I managed to get the first time and screwed up horribly. <laughs> hey! Uh, anyway. I do apologize if I say anything particularly odd. I have been watching a lot of Doctor Who lately, so if any quotes end up coming out, sorry about that. And yeah. Here we are. Back to the old grind. Magnificent. I'm actually legitimately sitting next to a cup of Earl Grey tea at this particular moment. So, this time I should try and be smarter about being ready for winter. And, uh, I personally think every death teaches you something. And I actually do believe this game is worth pursuing. To the extent of my own sanity, perhaps, but still. It's a good game. I like it. I like the learning concept. I like I like the fact that there is a learning curve in the form of the game just being that way. I seem to have found myself into an interesting world, though. Lots of rabbits. Decent amount of rocks. No beefalo yet, but that's okay. Obviously, it took me however long to find beefalo in the last episode. So that's fantastic. So yeah, day one. Progressing as day one does. And I forgot to sign out of Skype, because I'm an ultra douchebag. One second, please. Get back here. I, I seriously feel like the entire world, not just the game, the actual world, might be punishing me for screwing up that first playthrough, that first part where I decided going insane was a fun thing to do. Oh, 
Or maybe I'm just delusional. Anyway. Ah, I'd best find a place to camp out soon. The darkness is coming. Oh, hi. Anyway, I'll stop griping. I'm sorry that you had to put up with my, uh, complaining. Shut up, turkey. I do feel that I, uh... Now I'm talking in circles. Fantastic. Anyway. Let's see if I don't screw this one up too, yeah? Let's hope that, uh, dying horrifically multiple times should be enough of an indicator to me that I should not do things that particular way. Yeah. Tweaks. Interesting. That's a really useless skeleton, but I'll take it. You did not die in vain. You died almost, almost in vain, but not quite. So yeah. Ooh. Uh, if I cancel this, okay, good. Anyway, back to I probably said anyway about twenty thousand times in this video already, and I apologize for that. I'm trying to regain my racing thoughts. Anyway, <laughs> there I go again. This series is backed by popular demand. This is actually getting more notice than just about anything I've done thus far, which is quite surprising. But not unwanted. This might actually be where I set up camp for now. This is likely enough. Potential zone for beef hello. Uh, good little road we got going on here. Rabbit holes. I see no downside. Alright. Camp it is. Right there. Perfect center. And I don't have any gold, so I can't quite make a science machine yet, but if it, any of my other playthroughs are anything to go by, which, dear god, I hope they are, um, I should have gold basically just running out my ears soon enough, so that's something to look forward to. I'm sure you could all use that kind of show, too. Dear lord, this man takes a lot to fill. I think. I don't know how full his stomach actually gets. <sighs> I really don't like this character. I don't know if I've mentioned this before or not. I really absolutely abhor this character. I, I really just... If, if I could avoid him even being in this game, I would. I just really don't like him. Now, the thing is, I really have no basis for not liking him, aside from his voice. <laughs> Yeah, uh, aside from that, there's not really any basis. It's just, I've got this ingrained hatred for him. Like, I look at him, and I just feel pure rage. Of course, it might just be the, the rage boiling over from the fact that Fraps died and stuff. He does have a magnificent mustache, though. It is quite wonderful. Not nearly as good as uh, Wilson's beard. And rest in peace, Mr. Wilson. You will be severely missed. I will probably actually make you a headstone. Or at least devote one of the graves that used to belong to somebody else to you. That being said, day two begins now. Grand Adventure continues. As it should. Now, let's see if we can find ourselves any other means of anything. There's graves, good to know. We got ourselves a path. Screaming child in the background, that's always lovely. Rabbits, ponds, good. Swamps, good. Rocks, always useful. Flint, oh that's a really small swamp. <laughs> never mind, never mind the uh, swamp comment. 
Got ourselves a rock field. Excellent, excellent. Good, 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 good. Ooh, we even have the box thing, the gnome, and the spear. I don't know if I have enough to make a backpack. I do have enough to make a backpack, but I don't have a science machine. But we do have a wormhole! Let's see what we've got. Is this actually... This is actually nothing of note on the map, so I will just have to remember that that's where I should go. Makes me feel alive! Anyway, there's a grave here. Not that far away. Expecting to actually be teleported back to where I started just because that's kind of how things have been working for me lately. How much you want to bet? How much you want to bet? I can't actually get back to where I was unless I jump back in there. How much you want to bet? Oh. <laughs> oh, keep your money out, people. The bet's not over yet. I might have actually legitimately found a bridge across a different island, and the only way back is through a wormhole. Oh lord. My face when this is actually right. Oh my god. Seriously? Did that just happen? Did that legitimately just happen? You're serious. Oh my god. Ooh, sewage. Ugh. Ugh. Ah, pig king. <gasps> Ooh, magnificent. Thank you. Sorry. I'll just be leaving then. Um, eat these seeds. There'll be plenty. Don't worry. Can I just examine it? Uh, got a road. What? Oh, I've just come full circle. That's fabulous. Okay, so Pig King is on an island in the sun by himself. I say on in the sun. It's actually more in the indirect sunlight. But hey, who's counting? Berries, excellent. <laughs> Mr. Pig Man, come my way. <laughs> oh! Well, what do you know? Alright, so those of you who were betting that I could not actually get back, and it was an isolated island, now that would be really a really awesome playing mechanic. However, don't think that's quite in the game yet. Looks like I've got my path back. Uh, looks like I'm going to be a grave robber and steal some gold. And then I'm going back to uh, my unofficial base and going to make it official and be another grave robber. <laughs> anyway, um still full health, so there's that. That's fabulous. And pretty rare for me, I mean, I'm pretty much always hurt somehow. Anyway, so, yeah. Day two, pretty, f shut up, just eat it. My mighty arms can carry no more. Well, nobody asked you. I don't, I don't think anyone asked you. Anyway, I need more rocks. I just don't have enough rocks in my life at this current juncture. It sounds like a personal problem there, strong man McGee. Or should I say Magoo? I don't even know. Don't ask. I mean, you'd probably know before I did at this point in time. I'm pretty hopeless, actually. I need a whole bunch more rocks so that I can get another crock pot. Yes, but <clears throat> refine some rope. Just drop it. Refine. Do I have any? Nope. Don't wait. Oh. Ref 
find some rocks. Oh. Refine, doofus. Alright, let's do this. It sounded like rain for a second there, but it's just wind and fire. Magnificent day two, drawing to a swift close. You can hear people in the background. Don't care how much your arms can carry, honestly. In fact, if there's one thing I probably care the least about, it is how much your mighty arms can carry. Can I put the top hat on this creature? Can I, please? Can I do it? Can I put it on his head? I think it would look phenomenal. Just like, hold on. There we go. Yes. Wonderful. You look quite dapper today, so... Why, thank you. Hmm, anyway. Oh, man. This guy gets hungry really fast. Oh, good lord. Stop being such a fat. Oh my god, you're so fat. Why are you so fat? You're so fat. Save me, why? Why I became strong, man. I say it's because I'm too fat. I cannot see, I am scared. Oh, oh that was close. Get out of here. Out of here. Shoot. Shoot. Alright. Do fit. Such a weenie. Stop being such a scaredy cat. Stop being such a weenie. This guy's such a weenie. Oh my god. I really don't like him. Really don't like you. And it's raining on your parade. And your mighty mustache. How do you feel about this? Tell me. Tell me how you feel. In all honesty. Tell me how you feel about this current situation. Say anything. Say anything. It's actually quite fitting for this situation. I really hope your fire goes out and you die a slow, painful death. Come on. Make it happen. Make it happen. Oh, oh come on. Just in time. <laughs> oh, man. You have the luck of, like, some sort of savant or something, sir. Just throwing that out there. Ooh, that actually kind of scared me. Ugh. I've never actually been scared by lightning before. Weird. Right, what am I doing? Charcoal. Uh, charcoal and... Charcoal. And... And rocks. Of course I need rocks. Why wouldn't I need more rocks? There's always a sufficient need for rocks. If you don't have any rocks, you're doing it wrong. Just throwing that out there. If you don't have rocks, or stone, or or uh, pebbles, sand maybe, if you're really lucky. I mean, like, when I was a kid, I wanted sand for Christmas, but I usually got coal, which isn't worth as much as sand. Which is funny, because if you think about it, you can compress coal and turn it into a diamond, but coal in and of itself is relative- <gasps> Of mine. I've been blessed by an angel. Oh my goodness, I do not know who I have to thank for this wonderful bounty. Wow. But I must have done something, right? Good lord. It's raining rocks. Bountiful, wonderful rocks. Ah, I can live can live and be free and enjoy my life to my fullest extent and burn myself half to death. Not all the way, just halfway. Ah, things are definitely looking up. I need way more gold though. I didn't get that spear. I didn't get that gnome. I should have brought that gnome to go see the pig king. But I didn't. 
It's all there. It's just chilling. I don't particularly need it right now. It's just kind of nice. I really need some wood, though. Is my mic muted? Oh, thank God. Oh, I was having a miniature panic attack, and then I realized that I actually uh, fixed it when I was screwing it up the first time. So, yeah, I already screwed it up today. Can't screw it up again. Sorry, me. I'm not even going to have any inventory space left for this. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Mighty arms. Look at them, gentlemen and ladies. Ah, and I can't pick up anything else because I've got this in my mighty arms. Because this mighty man and his mighty mouse. Ah, oh, it's just fabulous. Ah. Oh. Look at this, look at this, look at this. I don't even know where I left my camp. I'm so good at this game. Dude, you don't even know. Come on, man. You're just jealous of how good I am at this game. There we go. Thank God. I feel like an idiot. Alchemy engine. Right, boards. Uh, I don't have any wood because I was an idiot and couldn't carry any of it. Fantastic. Uh, I can't make anything worthwhile. I can make, however, a shovel. Fabulous. And I'm going to starve to death in under a day because this fat lard needs to eat every five seconds or else he famishes and dies. You know what, Bunny? You've annoyed me. Sorry, but you have. You you were you just came across me on a bad day. I'm gonna find some really interesting way to like torture you or something. Hello. What have we here? Wow. Alright, I'm just going to take a little bit of everything. Now, what does this actually do? Oh! That is absolutely wonderful! Oh my god! Wow! Seriously? I just found this? That is the most useful thing I've ever seen! I'm taking this with me everywhere! Oh, I didn't even know that existed. That's fantastic. Alright, so, looks like I've got myself a walking cane, which makes me walk as fast as if I'm on a road. And if I'm on a road, I'm just zipping along. Look at me go. Jesus. Alright, well, I'm going to look exceptionally dapper with my walking stick and my top hat. And I think that is where I will end it for today. I hope you have a marvelous evening.